in a deconstructive approach to reading and understanding the Jewish opus, one has to be familiar with the entire opus of Torah, uh, Talmud, Codes, Midrash, and then see what's the underlying thing. Very often, the underlying principle that's not stated. Now, nowhere in the Torah, in the Midrashim, the, the Talmud, the Code, is the concept of Ein Sof stated. Ein Sof is the deconstruction, the deconstructive name of Judaism. This comes from Kabbalistic sources and is, by the way, the deconstructive answer from Kabbalah. I'm going to put on a, uh, uh, a link to the video that I did five years ago about deconstruction and Judaism. May I suggest you look at that? And so let's now go to Ein Sof. And this is what I'm into now. Ein Sof has the gematria of 207. That's also the gematria of Or. Remember, Ein Sof itself is the deconstructive essence of, of Judaism. 207 is Ein Sof, 61, and uh, 146, it's 207, as Or, or Raz, or Zir, secret, or crown, Remember that it's zir, it's crown. But this is what I want to add here, is I want to add the letters of Ein Sof. I want to make the two words of Ein Sof, and I want to make one term of Ein Sof. So it's Ein Sof is 207. The letters are three for Ein, three for Sof. That's six letters. It's 213. Two words, Ain and Sof, that's 215, and one for the whole term, it's 216. And that's accepted gematria. 216 is, of course, three times the 72 name of Hashem, but it's also Gavora. Gavora. How could how could Ain Soft be Gavora? And the Sapphira of Gavora. But the thing that I want to show is that I want to show that it's really the letter Aleph. That Ain Soft has a tie-in to the letter Aleph. And this is how it has the tie-in. There are three ways to write the Aleph. Yud, remember, I'm, in the video I did just put on before, the Aleph to me is Yesod. The Aleph to me is Ein Sof, coming into the body through Yesod. It's the tremendous potency, it's, it's the whole deal, man. It's the whole trick. It comes in at Yesod. And there are three ways to spell it. Aleph. Yud Vav Yud. That's 26. That's Yud Ke Vav Ke. That is the way they spell it in Chokmah. Then it's Yud Vav and then Dalet on the bottom. That's 20. That's the way they spell it in Bina. The Dalet. Spelt as the full yud, yud vav yud. 
But there's another way to spell Aleph in these texts. I didn't make this up. Yud, Vav, Resh on the bottom. Remember, the Resh looks like a Dalit, you know. Yud, Vav, Resh. Let's count that up. Yud is 10, Vav is 6, 16. And the Resh is 200. That's 216. And that's the full aspect of Ein Sof. And the Makubalim, the, the, the Kabbalists, bring that down as the name that's it's found in Da'as. The Allah found in Da'as is spelt Yud Vav Resh. In my other video, I did recognize this when I listened to the other video now, and I'd forgotten this. The word Atzmut, which I consider the Aleph itself, the essence of Ein Sof is Atzmut. <laughs> Atzmut Ein Sof. And there's, there's, a, there's an essence there, and that to me is the Aleph. And here's why the full spelling, the regular spelling of Atzmutz is 606, which is a very powerful number. It's the name Ruth. Root. And the full spelling of Atzmutz is 830, and then I plus one for the na for the word itself. That's eight thirty one, and that's the full spelling of Aleph. Aleph Lamed final pay. So the real Atzmut's level is the Aleph. Everything is the Aleph. Aleph manifests itself as the first word of Ein Sof, first letter. And for me, everything's in the first letter. And I've said it before. All you need to know is the Aleph. And that Aleph is on the testicles. Has the penis and the two, two testicles. There's expansion of this, this is what I call Vadas, as 480, which is Sitra Akra, which is the, the opposite of Aleph Samak as Samak Aleph. And for me, the entrance of Sitra Akra is from Das. And in a certain sense, it comes from Gavora also, if one wants. Keep in mind that the Or, that the Ein Sof is 207, it's Zir, that's the crown, like a Nazir. Nazir, Zion Resh which is the root of the word Nazir. Now, wait till you hear this. Ein Sof is written with two vowels. There's a Ziri in the Ein, and there's a Holam in the Sof. These two vowels are written as two dots below the iron, the olive, and then a dot above this vav. So it's ziri, two dots. Each dot is a yud. So there's ways to count it. If I count it as a total of three yuds, it's 30 but if I count it as three yuds full, each one is 20. So the ziri is 40, and the holam is 20. That's 60. So if I have 207 in the letters for Ein Sof, plus 60 for the vowels, I get 267 which is Nazir. That's 
That's right. Nazir. Because you see, for me, the Nazir is also the deconstruction within the Torah. My reading of the Torah is that everybody should be a Nazir, a self made man. Don't have to be born into it like a Kohen. And virtually, virtually a Kohen is what I call out of business until the third temple arrives. In Yoma, they talk about how seven days before Yoma Kippurim, he separated from his Beto, from his, from his house, from his woman, And this separation from the woman, is that's the secret of the Nazir. The Nazir separates. And the deconstruction of the three things of the Nazir is that he doesn't have uh, grapes from the tree of life, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, so there's no sexual sin. Doesn't cut his hair. But the energy isn't clipped. And he doesn't associate with the dead because he has eternal life. And what gives him all this eternal life? It's because he's removed himself from his beto, removed himself from his woman, and he's celibate. How could this be that celibacy is the highest level of Judaism when it's considered like the worst? that the first commandment is priya verivia, be fruitful and multiply. So how could celibacy be accepted here? And it's not accepted because it's not understood. In my opinion, this continual un misunderstanding, this non-deconstruction approach of uh, what I call a priya verivia, is that we have to produce many souls. Well, this was given to Adam, priya verivia, when there were no people here. And now we got like four billion people. Enough souls have been born. We don't have to rectify more souls. In my opinion, let's, let's give God a chance. See? No more souls. Let's see what happens. Will there be a resurrection of the dead? This is a good day to talk about it. Because I'm doing this video on... Um, on uh, Tisha B'Av, or the 10th of Av here, because it was Shabbos. Death is only to add to the life. There's been enough people born. I find it weird walking around with a child and a woman, living a woman's life. That's my opinion here. It's a misunderstanding to be fruitful and multiply, meaning children. It's time to end the children routine. The mini-me's. That's the Nazir approach. Because he's removed into eternal life. And this is from Ein Sof. When you add the vowels, 
becomes 267, it's Nazir. The Ein Sof is associated down here with the Nazir, and for the Nazir, he's associated up there with the Ein Sof and enters into it. And, and, and Atzmut's Ein, Etzmut's Ein Sof is, is, is the Aleph. And everything is the Aleph. And Ein Sof is the Aleph, spelled Yud Vav Resh. And as I said in my other video, the, the, the penis, the Yosef was the olive. And I'm completely convinced that it comes through the middle. Because that's where motion moves from. In the tennis, you move from, from that area. You see? Power comes there and then it goes up channels that are structured in the body. Channels mm, up, up, the hand I up the body and out the hand. See? Energy that emanates from the Ein Sof that, that pulls it into the Ein Sof in the middle of the body. You know? In Yerushalayim, in Zion, in, in the body of the temples. There's, so there's been enough. If you don't, if if you think if you think that there has to be more souls, how many more? It would be endless. So there has to be a point, and the point is a deconstructive interpretation of this. You see, an underlying thing. that interpretations are provisional due to the situation. Another thing is that they talk about how the woman will be the crown of the man, how the woman is higher than the man. That's only for me, in my understanding, is to keep women in the fold, in, to get them into the synagogue. Man is different than women. Turn on the television for the tennis matches. The women can't play. You see women football players or women milers, they're not as fast. But they say the woman will be the crown of the man. So, if you believe that, that's fine. That was fine for whenever. It's new interpretation. New interpretation is needed. We have to move, bring ourselves back to the Atzmuts level, which is the Aleph level, of Ein Sof, <coughs> which is the 207 level. <coughs> And the 216 level of Gavora. And Gavora being the left hand. And so this is where a lot of other things happen. But unless you read it like this, you're only a parrot echoing things that they're going to tell you with interpretations that they're going to tell you. But these interpretations are not your own. Not your bodily interpretations. So you've got to find out what's really there. And very often the obvious the written, the, the surface, is not the, not the depths. If you look at an ocean, the surface of the ocean doesn't show the fish. doesn't show the coral. So it's up to you what you want. It 
as I'm screaming this into my mirror here. There's a tain to the mirror. You know what a tain is? T-A-I-N-E, tain. Just like there's a back of the head. Have you been walking backwards? The tain of the mirror is the dollop in the back of the head to fill in. Oh, did I do that this morning with the with the dollars? I don't think I wrote it down. Well, I had some beautiful things. Well, we'll do it another time. I, mean, I did write it down. We'll do it another time. The dollar, which could be das, and could be this olive spelt this way. I will see. In the meantime, Ain Sof with its vowels is 267, which is nausea. Ain Sof written out, which is 207, plus its letters and, and, and words and units for the all is 216, which is Gavora. And if you meditate on this and you find out that the at Atzmut's level of, of, of Ein Sof is the Aleph itself, and how everything comes out of the Aleph, and it does. At least it does for me. <laughs>